Do you think AI is just for tech giants or that it's going to steal your job? Think again. Today we're going to discuss five myths about AI and business. AI is too expensive. You know, AI is not really that expensive. And honestly, I think what people need to think about is can they afford not to implement AI? With that in mind, there are so many options for organizations, regardless of their size, to begin implementing AI solutions immediately that impact the organization and can add a lot of value. For instance, um, there are many manufacturing organizations out there who are leveraging AI to improve their quoting processes, making it easier for them to ensure that they're putting the right information together. There's software out there that allows them to do this effectively, and, they, and it's at a very minimal investment. So when you think about implementing AI and the cost of it, because I know that people hear a lot about the cost of AI. Now, that cost is really for the tech giants who are building the large language models and the infrastructure for it. But there are many software applications out there that you can easily begin using right away. One of the first tips to begin helping you in this journey of finding the right solution at the right cost is to think about the roadmap that your existing tech vendors have. Are they already implementing AI solutions within their platform that you can begin leveraging? to take advantage of it. But again, I want you to think that, keep this in mind, successful AI implementation initiatives aren't about the tech, it's about the strategic value that your organization brings. AI is only for large enterprises. You know, the thing about it is, while there are a lot of Fortune 500 organizations that are investing heavily into AI, and rightfully so, there's many great use cases of mid-market organizations who are successfully uh, implementing AI to bring value to their organization. They're using AI to help them figure out ways to be more efficient. They're using AI to help them on the compliance side. They're using AI to help them with operations. One of the great use cases that we're seeing is they're using AI to help them with uh, sales. Specifically, a lot of mid-sized organizations are seeing value in bringing in AI to help them with inside sales, making their uh, inside sales reps more efficient. And they're using AI to help them shorten the quote to cash process and to be more efficient. The big difference is mid-market organizations, they need to start thinking about having to build the tech infrastructure but leveraging the tools that are available out there today to help them get to the right solution. And it's really important for mid-market organizations to think differently than large enterprises from this perspective. AI and what it can do is changing quickly. And sometimes as you think about making those significantly large investments, by the time you've made those investments and got your solution up and running, the tech has already changed because we're seeing tech for the AI space change real rapidly. So by going with, you know, having a strategic plan that, you know, focuses on a buy versus build approach really gets you a solution quicker and at a economical cost that you can quickly see a return on your investment. AI is gonna replace people. All right, AI isn't gonna replace people. AI is going to enhance people's abilities it's going to augment skills that people have, and it's going to change the way that people work, but it's not going to replace people. Uh, it's, think back to uh, when the internet first came out. The internet didn't replace people, right? Uh, the internet just made the way that we do work different. It changed roles, of course, and AI will have some role changes, but those role changes are going to uh, come over time. We're so, we're still in the beginning phases of how AI is going to impact the workplace. But right now, what AI can do for you is it can make your team, your employees more productive. It can augment the work that they do on a day-to-day -day basis. It can help them eliminate errors. A couple of things that we should think about when it comes to uh, using AI and how it's going to help and augment the work that people do um, number one, um, we need to have a structured plan and train people. 
you know, people may not know how, there's, there's lots of software tools that people have to learn how to, to use effectively. That's gonna be the same way with AI. We really need to teach employees how to be more effective at their job. AI is the future. Well, sorry to tell you, AI is right now, it's here. AI is currently having a major impact on the way that people think, the way that people behave, and how people are getting the work done on, on a day-to-day -day basis. Employees are already using AI as a part of their daily workflow. AI is already embedded into many of the major ERPs, CRMs, customer service applications that businesses are using on a day-to-day -day basis. AI has a promise of a lot more to come in the future, but if you're waiting to leverage AI till a future time, you're really missing the boat. There's lots of things that you need to be doing right now in order to start leveraging its power. AI can really begin to transform the way that your organization functions. It can impact the way that your organization looks today. It's really a crawl, walk, run type of approach that you need to think about AI. Sure, there's a lot of things that are yet to be seen, but right now you need to leverage it to have a significant impacts from an operational and revenue perspective. Myth. You need a data science. A lot of people are afraid to take on AI transformation initiatives because they feel like they need an expensive data scientist in order for them to be successful. Well, the truth is everybody within your organization is a data scientist. What do we mean by this? Within your organization, you have a lot of subject matter experts who understand your data. They understand um, your CRM, they understand your ERP, they understand everything about your organization. These are the key individuals that are needed in order for you to be successful with a true AI transformation. There are a lot of solutions that are on the market today that are plug and play and so as long as you have people who understand your organization, the tools that are out there are going to help you successfully make good decisions as you build your solution. When you think about building a AI solution, it's not like it was in the past where you're building everything from scratch. Some organizations may choose to do that, but in truth, most organizations are really going to use solutions that are already in place and they're not going to have to build a lot of the core functionality. They're just going to uh, take advantage of what, what already exists. So. Don't let the fear of having to have a quote unquote data scientist in your organization hold you back. Train your organization to be data proficient. Data is everybody's job, everybody's business, and you give them the skills that they need to be successful, then you'll be successful. Got a dolphin right there behind me, you can probably see it. Dolphins are intelligent creatures. And the thing about them, their intelligence is not artificial. Artificial intelligence, it really is powerful. And we really need to start thinking about it as our friend instead of something that's coming after us like a big scary shark. There's so many ways that we as leaders need to think strategically about using AI to help improve our organizations. We need to think about how do we help increase the productivity of our organizations? How do we use it to help be more innovative? How do we use it to continue to thrive in times of uncertainty? How do we continue to use it to investigate new waters? These are all the things that we really want to think about as we're uh, diving in deep to how AI can help our organizations. So what AI myth did you believe? Let me know in the comments below. We'd love to connect.